Chilling rain again, baby. Yeah, so uh, I'm also going to be bringing these little boys out this time around. Normally, these are reserved for the pack of the day crap. But <laughs> I think since we're doing the Ice Rider Elite Trainer Box, we have to put these two good pulls in the background of both of the Ice Rider V and V Max to try and bring us some extra luck in this video right next to our little lucky fish. So let's open this thing up. Also, I have my razor sitting on my desk already open. That's a very safe thing to do with your knives. If, if you guys are wondering the best way to store your knives, just open all of them and just Start, you know, scatter them around. So we're gonna slide this boy out of here. We're gonna get out the player's guide. Woo, all of the cards. Then we're gonna take off, focus, this little topper here. The inside of this, which is this packing cardboard. They actually did a pretty good job on designing that one though. And on the inside, we have the player's guide, as if I don't already have 9,000 of those. We have the sleeves for the Ice Rider. We have a pack of energies. I hate getting these, if I'm being honest with you guys. I actually use TCG Player's app to catalog all of my cards, and I even do the energies. So every time I do a Elite Trainer box, I have to catalog all of these into the TCG Player app. If you want the entire box, there is the code card. We have all of the dividers here, whoop de doo We have the damage counters, focus. And we have the metal die. Um, if you guys haven't watched my other, other Elite Trainer Box video, I kind of showed more on these. But yeah, they're just like metal dice. They're actually really heavy. And probably a bit smaller than the regular die, but they are really cool. Oh, they also it also comes with a coin. This time it has a blue backing. The other one had a purple, so that's interesting. If it can focus camera, there it is. Um, and we have our little ice rider right there. Look at that shiny shattered glass boy. But of course, the meat of the video are the 10 packs that we get. Or rather, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 packs. Because the Pokemon company did a big old mess up. Um, they, I mentioned it in the last video, but they accidentally put eight in these instead of ten. So if you pre-ordered it, make sure to check your email. Uh, of course, you'll probably already know by the time this video is out. Uh, I'm getting to this pretty late. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be sending out um, the two extra packs, a $10 refund, and all of the Galarian Legendary Birds as V cards to everybody. Uh, so, yeah, fun story. But we have the Articuno pack as our first. Can we preserve this boy? Can I open this in a non-destructive fashion that will allow me to fill it up with energy cards and keep it in another Elite Trainer box? Because I'm a fucking nerd. There is the code card. We do one, two, three to the front, get rid of our energy, and... First pack of the video, we have the Whirlipede Crushing Gloves and Honey is all of our uncommons. Going on to our cast form, rainy day form, Snover, Yen Mask, the Cough Boy, the Shuppy Boy. We have Cub Fu as a reverse, but on the very end, we have Zangoose Rapid Strike. Really nice artwork, but you're not a hollow. All right, let's do our little Final Fantasy Chocobo here. If I can preserve this one as well, I would like to have at least one preserved pack of my favorite of the Galarian Birdie Boys. Slide these cards out. Oh god, the code card is like... slipping. Uh, why are you guys not coming out? I don't want to destroy the cards, but I don't want to destroy the pack either. Just, just leave the- leave the pack- we did it! Alright, so that is an uncommon, so that should just go right there. It should be fine. We shouldn't have messed up the pack order. Yeah, that code card is bent. It was in that pack, like, way too high. I'm surprised it's not crimped. Like, you can see the line in it, possibly. Oh, well, I just revealed the code card uh, backing. That's fine. We're gonna get something good. I'm not gonna blur that one out. So we have three to the front and get rid of... We don't get rid of an energy, because I shuffled these around like a moron. So let's do a crushing glove coughing... Curly, uh, Yan Mask, we have a Snow Runt, Bun Sweet, Cub Fu. Okay, so the next one is going to be our good boy. So we're just going to start pulling from the back. We have the Rugged Helmet. <laughs> There's our energy. Okay. And then the next one. Okay. 
Not bad, we have a Hollow Cresselia. Not a terrible way to, you know, start off with our second pack. Hopefully we can get a bit better luck as we go and hopefully be able to open the packs without absolutely destroying them. All right, so throw this little boy in a sleeve. There we go. Slide it down in there and bam, we have the Cresselia Holographic Guard with its little Ice Rider sleeve. I always forget that whenever I'm recording these that as a small channel, more than likely most of my views are gonna be coming from people who have never seen me before. And so when I just go like absolutely destroying a pack, they just assume that's the norm for this channel because they've never seen the channel before. Uh, so let me clarify. I don't usually do that. <laughs> we do one, two, three to the front, get rid of our energy. And we have the Dania Tree Hill. Cool. Justified gloves. I haven't pulled any of those yet. Um, and another lucky energy. I think there are two new energies in this set, right? I know the I know of the lucky one. I don't think I've got the other one yet. Ladybug, we have the Golet to the Kalabi Boy, the Snowy Form cast form. That's new for me as well. We have uh, Rapid Strike Zeb Strika as a reverse. But our last card, yes, we have the Galarian Zapdos V. Look at that boy. I, I still want to get the alternate, but hey, I won't complain about this getting the regular boy either, even though they're going to be mailing me two of them because of the two elite trainer boxes that me and my lady friend pre-ordered. So now I'm going to have three of the Galarian Zapdos V. I, I don't think anybody is really... Uh, mentioned to my knowledge that with them mailing out all of those cards to the people who pre-ordered this um it's going to devalue the hell focus focus it's going to devalue the hell out of the zapatos articuno and Maltre's standard v cards but i'm still happy to have them next up we have the focus god my camera is crap today we have the ice rider pack from the ice rider elite trainer box maybe that's a sign that we'll pull uh, a slowpoke. <laughs> I really want a slowpoke. Can you please give me? There's the code card. We have one, two, three, a two of the front. Get rid of the energy. You don't even get to see what energy it is. Uh, we have the lucky energy, Porygon 2, and Reboot. Going on to the crab brawler, the grookie boy chopping the wood. We have the score bunny pushing the, the ball. Uh, Aaron Snow Runt. We have the bone sweet. But on the back, we have Volcarona. Woo. So, ironically, this uh, Maltrace right here is the only V card we don't have from the uh, birds. And I have barely done any Chilling Rain. So, I feel like they're going to be fairly common. Of course, I have one of them on the way now. Two of them on the way now. But, ah, get out of there. Uh, I'm starting to think that regardless of that promo crap that they did, I just revealed the code card color. I'll blur it this time. Um, I feel like uh, they're fairly common anyways, so even with them being devalued by shipping all these out to people that did the pre-orders, it's still not going to have super big impact. We have Karen's Conviction, Kakuna, and Echoing Horn as all of our uncommons going on with NK carrying a bunch of random crap. Squovit, score bunny with the ball, Diglet, Golit. We have NK again. This time as a reverse as I burp. And on the end, we have the Blaziken V Max. Look at that boy. Holy God. So, fun fact for all of you right now, at the time of recording, the alternate artwork version of this is currently the most valuable card. Last I checked anyways, and it was going for like 130 something dollars. Of course, you guys will already know the value of this one, uh, throwing it in a sleeve right now. But if the alternate is the most valuable, I have to ima imagine that the standard VMAX is at least going to be up there. Um, man. Focus. Look at that card, man. I know it kind of ruins it a little bit when it's in the sleeve because these sleeves kind of kill some of the reflection. But God, I'm 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 stoked about this. Chillin' Rain is really, really pulling it out for me lately, man. Like so far, I mean, this is what the third video we've done on Chilling Rain, and we're already getting these amazing pulls. Like it has been nuts. Maybe it, maybe this is just like the standard and I just opening battle styles for too long and I kind of forgot what Pokemon used to be like before, you know, 
the scalpers decided that they wanted to get in on it and all of the people that used to play Pokemon back in the day have gotten back into it. If you're one of those people, that's cool. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at all the scalpers. <laughs> Come on, get out of the pack. Good lord. I cannot preserve packs anymore. Here's the code card. We got three to the front. We have an energy. And... Okay, Impact Energy, that was the other special energy that they added. Okay, then we have Path to the Peak and Drizzly, Drizzle Boy. Um, we have Swirlix, the Yen Mask, the Cast Form, Sunny Form, that's new to me as well. I, I know some of you will love like the toy versions and like the clay versions of these cards. I don't like them that much, but I mean, it's still nice to have. We have the Ghastly as a reverse. But the last card is a Melmar. Two packs left. Let's get the mall trays. Let's get an alternate. But if we don't get an alternate, I'll just take a regular, you know, V or V Max possibly. I haven't pulled a single alternate from Battle Styles, so I don't know why I'm saying like, yeah, let's definitely get an alternate in today's video. Because like, apparently the pull rate for them are awful. There's the code card, which is kind of what you would expect, you know, for alternate artwork cards. So, let's start. We have the uh, Drizzle, Dinah Tree Hill, and Justified Gloves. Going on to our rainy form cast form, Larvesta, Sobble Crying While Meditating, Leiba, Skowovit, we have the Blitzel. The last card is a Zangoose, okay. And our last pack of the video, of course, has to be the Ice Rider. Um... Even though I'm pretty certain that I'm going with Shadow Rider in the DLC. Again, I haven't actually played Sword and Shield in probably about a month or two. Um, I, I, I gotta say, I think I like Shadow Rider more, but I think most people are gonna say that. Like, not looking at stats or anything like that, just looking at the Pokemon itself. Uh, okay, Single Strike uh, Scroll of Piercing. I do not have that one yet either, so that's another uncommon for us. We have Avery and Thwacky. Going on to our Deerling, Sneasel, Galarian, Farfetch'd, Frufro, Vinipede, Porygon 2 as a reverse. But our last card of the day, our last chance for something good, give us the alternate! Okay, well we still got a hollow. Uh, Kabulian, Kabulion, Ka Cabbage. Let's put it in its sleeve. Nope, nope, in the sleeve, in, in, in the sleeve. There we go. There we go. There is our beautiful boy. Nothing super crazy, but I don't mind pulling hollows. Time for your end of video recap. Everything that was a reverse or better, we have the NK, the Ghastly, the Bitzel, the Bunsweet, Zebstrika, Porygon, Kubfu, Brawly, and time to get the actual good crap. So we have the Kabulion, we have the Cresselia, Galarian, Zapdos V, and of course, our beautiful Blaziken V Max. I gotta say, for a eight pack Elite Trainer box, we got four hits, two of which are, you know, V or V Max cards, two are the standard hollows. It's not bad. Like, I'm comparing this to Battle Styles once again, our pull rates are definitely going up. I, 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 I don't get me wrong, I liked Battle Styles, and I plan on doing more. But the pull rates of this is just too much to let go, man. I I'm going to be doing so many more Chilling Rain. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.